Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. In today's bag workout, we're focusing on level changing with our boxing. And it's a very important concept when it comes to fighting because it confuses your opponent. A lot of inexperienced fighters, everything is just punch in the head. But in the bazooka system, level changing is a very important concept, especially as we get from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So just like our other workouts, we have three levels for you to follow. If you're a beginner, I want you following Mike. He'll be taking you through the basic principles. Diego, intermediate, so this is where you're getting into sparring and those kinds of things. And then if you're in competition, you're following Matt. Because it's a boxing-focused workout, we're gonna start with our shoulders to warm up. So let's go forward circles with the shoulders. Okay, so level changing when it comes to boxing. And what you wanna be able to do is understand how to change the levels. And one, it's like you have your jab, your cross, and your hook. Those are your three basic punches. So you can change levels with all three of those punches. Other direction, backwards. Okay, so changing levels. So I could jab to the head, cross to the body, hook to the head, right? So I'm level changing with the cross. I can go jab, cross to the head, hook to the body to attack the liver with my left hook. So even a basic three punch combination can be applied a little bit more advanced with level changing, right? One, two, three, and one, two, three. It's the same combination, but different, okay? This is a little bit more of a challenging warm up. One forward, one backwards, okay? Let's see if we can do it. All right, one forward, one backwards. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, other direction, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, side to side. Okay, a few more, sometimes on an angle, stretch out your pec muscles, okay? One of, this is one of my favorite warm-ups when throwing hooks because when you stretch out, you get that elastic reflex. So even sometimes when you punch, you can really get that stretch in the muscle, okay? So level changing is the workout today. So now that our chest and our muscles are nice, full of blood, let's start with warming up the punches. So basically we like to use the line all the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jab forward and backwards just to get the movement in our calf and to be able to punch with our hands, right? Punching and our calves work together. All right, so intermediate, advanced, you can start traveling across the line a little bit. Go left and right, sometimes here, sometimes even when I'm bouncing, I'm moving my head and changing my head off center line. Okay, so moving left, right, playing around with the footwork. Intermediates and advanced, right? We can even jab the body, right? Start introducing the level change. Okay, a lot of coaches might tell you jabbing to the body is dangerous, which is correct because you're exposing your lead face, right? So if I jab to the body, right, I'm open here. So maybe setting them up as you get more advanced to throw other spots is very important. And a jab to the body is a good striker. It's nice in mixed martial arts. So my MMA fighters following along, it's a nice setup to be able to lower your base, right? To set up takedowns or lower if I'm a kickboxer, I could lower my base or a straight boxer to be able to throw the big hand. Okay, repetitive punches, ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time, okay? Let's stretch out a little bit more, arm across, okay, open up, we'll do one more quick warm up round, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of the workout. Okay, straight switch. Deep breaths, good. Three, two, okay, we'll stretch the tricep, overhead, nice strong pull. 10, nine, eight. Switch. All right, and one more warm up, forward circles. Good, fast, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna get into a little bit of a shadow boxing now. So intermediates and advanced, this is where they can start moving, start introducing the level changes, jab to the head, cross to the body, or one, two liver shots. So this is where they can start warming up 
the idea of changing levels. So the beginners, it'll be a little bit more stationary. And because I know the two punches we're gonna focus on is going to be our jab, right to the head, cross to the body. So now you're just introducing that to the beginners. So first thing, we're gonna step with our jab, but when you throw a cross to the body now, right, it's not about leaning forward, okay? That's a big mistake people make is they lean forward when they throw their cross to the body. So when I cross to the body, I need to make sure I sit down a little bit on my lead leg. Leaning forward and having a straight leg loses power and drive forward, okay? No power versus boom, sitting down, getting power. And you can see the drive of my back heel into the ground. It's not forward, I turn and get on the ball of my back foot now, so now I have that generating power in my hip, okay? There's no power if I don't turn that back foot, boom, okay? Drive that hip into the punch, okay? So very simple, one, two, jab to the head, cross to the body, learning to do that level change. Two, good, practice that a few times. Now my intermediate advanced fighters, let's start mixing in quarter turns, pivots, head movement, okay? And lots of good level changing, all right? My advanced fighters, we got angled shuffles, yeah, quarter turns. Remember, introducing fainting is very important as we get into our sparring and our competition. So using feints and angles, all should happen naturally as we get more advanced, okay? Moving the head, fainting, blocking counter. And with attacking the body, it's really important too that we start visualizing punches. So if I'm attacking the body, I might visualize a right hand. I slip off, boom, I attack the body. Or one, two, one, I'm playing straight punch. Punch comes, rip off the body. One, two, one, level change, head off, pivot off, body, head, right? So you see me angling to mix levels, all right? So play around with changing in the way I'm fainting, boom, angling, right? Body, head, same hand attacking as well. Okay, now beginners, just to get that introduction, we're gonna go one, two, and then hook to the body, step back out. One, two, hook to the body, and step out. Very simple and strategic, but one tip I'm gonna give you for this, when I throw my two, I'm gonna step up a little bit, right? I don't wanna stay too long to hit the liver. One, two, step in slightly with my back foot. Now I'm in close to get power. If I'm trying to hook from here, I got no power. Okay, good for a warm up. Let's get into our bag work. So, the first round, what we're going to work on is the simple cross to the body. All right? So, beginners, what we're going to start with is literally the jab to the head. And the workout is about level changing, right? So, the changing is the important part of the workout as well. So, we're going to step with our jab and we're going to hit that cross to the body and step out. Focus on good hand positioning, jab, cross. When I throw my cross, is hands up. Remember, I want my knee bent. I'm not looking for this one cross here, okay? So one, looking for that drive forward. My knee doing this, this transfer is gonna give me power to the body shot, all right? Not leaning, so, right? Get that bent, boom. Right? Now, my intermediates advance. After that right cross to the body, I want you to fire up with some punches upstairs, all right? Level changing, right? And even as a coach, a lot of times what I'll say and I'll yell to my fighters, head, body, head. Head, body, head. So the concept is there, right? I'm not necessarily saying I want to hook to the body or across to the body, but the concept I'm looking for is to attack the head, create the distraction, hit the body, then go back to the head. Going back to the head is important when you're looking for finishes, right? It's nice to hurt the body, but the reaction we get from a hurt body is what's important, okay? So if my hands are here and I hit the body, right, the elbows come down. So the changing of levels to go back upstairs is the important part. It's you have to change levels in, in order to get those finishes, all right? It's the confusion. But it's also important, right? I can attack the body, come off on a hook, and create those different attacks. But really focus on these two knuckles, right? Our proper knuckles when I'm sitting on the punch. Drive those two knuckles right in, okay? You'll notice in a lot of karate style, they tell you to sit straight down. Boom, it's more like a counter, boom, shot. 
But I want this motion here, this transfer, is what's gonna help you grind those knuckles and get the power, okay? Let's watch the boys work. Remember, Mike for beginners, Diego intermediate, Matt for our advanced application. I'm looking for a nice long extension on that straight to the body. Now, intermediates advance for that straight to the body, okay? It could also come from a hook to the head, so hook, cross, hook. Hook to the head, cross to the body, hook back to the head. That's that concept, head, body, head. Head, body, head. Okay, beginners now, I want you to add a hook to the head. So if you're watching Mike here now, the jab's coming up beautifully. Gets the distraction, cross in, hook to the head, nice. So one of the keys that I'm looking for on Mike is this back foot on the right hand. By pivoting the back foot, okay, nice and slow, and hold with the right cross, Mike. So one, two. By having this position here, he's loaded up on that back foot. What it allows now is a rotated hip, he's loaded now. He's got the power to now turn and generate for the knockout to the head. So the cross to the body, by generating that heel position, he's got more punch on the, more power, more weight transfer, but he also has a launch for the hook to the head. So good footwork, good setups will just allow you to be able to get more power. Time. Okay, so that was the introduction for the first level change, the cross to the body. Now, my favorite level change is gonna go with the left hook. Now, beginners, we're gonna start with just the simple combination. And there's two ways in, to get to the liver. So you can go one, two, liver shot, or jab, liver shot. The beginners, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do jab, cross, liver. Why one, two, okay? It's all about using the body to rotate. If I don't turn my body, there's no power for the hook. So one, when I jab, shoulder comes in front. Cross, loads it up. Remember, get on my back pivot foot here. Now I have the load. So the third punch is becoming the level change, right? We went one, two, three. Now it's one, two, three. Okay, use that body, load it up. Intermediates and advanced, you're gonna alternate between one, two, body, or one, faint with the right hand, to set up the liver shot, okay? That's more of an intermediate application. So make sure you alternate between the two as you get beginner, uh, as you move to intermediate and advanced, okay? So again, one, power two, three to the body, okay? Or I'm going jab, fainting with my right hand, and then ripping my body to the liver. Now, understanding when this is a bag versus a body. When we're talking about attacking a body, what I need to make sure is my hook's not too round. If my hook is really round, the problem happens now, you're hitting the side. You're looking at, you know, not hitting the liver. The liver has to come a little bit more, you know, on a shoveled angle. So what's happening now, instead of loading up this big round punch, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use a little bit more of a tighter angle and shovel my punch in. And coming a little bit more forward will help you hit that liver a little bit more effectively. Remember, intermediates in advance, using a little bit of a feint, a pendulum bounce. In and out movement is really important, right? So in all combinations, right, you have to understand, are you playing the enter exit or are you playing inside? So what does that concept mean? Now, if I'm playing the outside, right, I might want to enter, right? I'm outside, I enter, I attack my body, and then I exit because I want to stay long. But if you're a fighter now and your game plan is to stay in pressure, I have to know that and build it in. So I might enter, you know, in a way. Now, when I stay in here, I might stay in the pocket now, right? I might stay and use level changing, playing head to head. But now, I have to think, all right, boom, I'm getting attacked, I evade. Now I'm playing long. So, as you get more advanced, you have to play with the entering and the exiting. 
And that's what's gonna help you to be able to adapt in your fights. If I'm fighting long at first, and I'm winning the long fight, I wanna manage and continue to stay long. However, if my long fighting is losing, I have to be able to adapt. And by adapting, what does that mean? Instead of staying long, now I gotta walk in and pressure. And when I'm pressuring, hitting the body and level changing becomes more important, especially when it comes to our hand fighting. So understand in your head that you have to understand what fight's happening, okay? So let's play around with that concept. Time. Now, as we go into round three, the level changing game is played really well with the left hook, the lead hand. And when we talk about level changing, to damage someone, we want that liver shot. So one of the sneakiest ways are playing with multiple hooks, right? So the idea is, if you're a beginner, is learning how to generate and use our pivoting in our feet in order to get power in our hips, which get power in our punches. So just sitting here, learning this rotation is really important. As I turn, my lead foot turns. Back foot, lead foot. And at the same time, I'm transferring weight backwards and forward and using my feet. So with this hook position, we're gonna hook, come back with a faint hook, hook, hook. So as a beginner, the key to this level change, I'm gonna load up my rear side, hook to the head, come back, hook to the body. And that's what we're gonna play. As we get intermediate advanced, this time we're gonna play with rhythm and tempo. Maybe two to the head, one to the body. Three to the head, one to the body. Head, body, head. So it's all about using the lead hand to get more effective level changing and ultimately find the liver, okay? Use the lead hand to find the liver and no better way to do it than with the hooks, okay? Beginners, remember, single to the head, reload, hit the body. Reload, hit. Now, if you're comfortable with it at a stationary position, Mike's gonna step out. Now, when he throws his right hand, that's when he takes a step to load himself in, okay? So he doesn't even have to throw the punch. He's just gonna load it up, hook, hook, and then exit out. So as a beginner now, you're practicing loading up the shoulder, which is important to generate hip power, and you're getting the double rotation and entering and exiting. So that's a good start to developing level changing hooks. Already now, with Diego as an intermediate, you'll see a little bit of play in and out. He's bouncing slight angles, but he's using his jab now to find the hook, which is something that you really have to practice with, right? The, the jab is a longer weapon, keeps you longer away, but then you have to use fainting to set it up. So this is a little bit more intermediate. Enter, exit, using the jab to create it. Now, you're gonna see Matt here, more of an advanced principle. You see Matt slowly tracking left and right. That's important because changing levels becomes more effective. If I'm here now and Matt wants to hit the liver, if I'm hiding it really well, it might be an advantage for him to circle out this way now to attack the liver. So from a straight line, he attacks the head, and then when he attacks the liver, he takes an angle, right? So it's a little bit more effective in order for him to land, right? So let's watch here on the body. So he does it to me, he jabs. If I'm blocking here, he takes a slight angle. Now look, boom, he finds the liver shot a little bit more effectively. So being able to use the jab, create little angles, will help you land it a little bit more effectively. So keep an eye, watch the different flow, and see how the boys work. Ten seconds. Time. Okay, so now we've introduced level changing with the cross and the hook. 
But one of the other effective ways is using power inside body punches in order to damage on the inside. So these were all long, long punch, long punch, or hand stepping in to get that power, right? But now when I'm inside here, I want to be able to damage the inside a little bit more. And this is what we call the shoe shine or body rips, okay? So you get the attention upstairs, one, two, right? And then the body rips happen, one, two, three goes back to the head. So for my beginners, we're gonna start very slow, all right, just like we should. So one, now you can go jab, body rip, body rip, right? Or cross, body rip, body rip. So you're gonna use one straight punch to the body rips. Jab, right body rip, left body rip, right? Or cross, it's all opposite, one and two. Now, intermediates advance, you're gonna be able to play with whatever straight punches you want, okay? You can do double jab, one, two, one, one, two, rip, rip, and go to the head, right? So for the beginners, it's more about the rip, rip to the body, okay? That's the key. So using the one straight punch, rip, rip, okay? Now, when you get over here a little bit, it's the change of how to set up the body rip. Even when you start fighting, the one jab might not be enough to set up the body. It might take two jabs to really get my opponent to lift her guard up, for me to enter, now rip, right? So it might be even more, one, two, one, one, rip, 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 rip. So you can play the different games of how you enter, right? I might use fainting, off rhythm, off tempo, get that little bit of a faint, get the reaction, boom, 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 and hit. Right? One of the more effective ways is using a feint. If I hard jab someone, then I feint, right? After the hard jab, I'm gonna get this reaction. Boom, 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 hit and come back upstairs. Now, the key to these body rips, after you go inside, you have to go back to the head. So, for beginner, intermediate, and advanced, after the two body rips, the third hook goes upstairs. So, body, body, head. Set it up, body, body, head. And it doesn't matter. This is the beautiful thing about developing that rotational power. It doesn't matter what punch is thrown when. It's more about body mechanics. Whether I throw jab, cross, or you know, body, body, my body is still, and my feet and my legs are generating the power, right? So without even throwing, you can see what I'm doing, right? Whether that's jab, cross, hook, hook, or a walk, walk, body, body. It's understanding the body mechanics and the turn are gonna generate the power. And the level change is just me deciding. So I might go body, body, head. Body, body, third shot is my right hand. I can go the other, one, two, three. If I lead with my left hand, left, right, my third one's going upstairs. So you can play with evens, odds, level changing, tempo, rhythm. So there's so many ways to make simple punches more effective. And using the level change, and then tempo, then rhythm, it gets confusing, but then there's fainting, then there's angles. So this is where the advanced application goes. The concept is the same, it's how you apply it that makes it intermediate or advanced. Time. Okay, and for the fifth and final round, one of the main things I like to do in my coaching is add freestyle rounds. And this, when it comes to level changing, it's about creativity. I don't want to limit the minds of my intermediate and advanced players. Yes, beginners, it's, we need those set patterns, that, that movement, the foot, the calf, the rotation, that's all important. But when you get more advanced, level changing is where the creativity comes and flies along, right? So whether I do multiple lead hands to hit the liver, or my focus is doubling up on the body, or head, body on the rear hand, cross, head, body. So you can get so creative by changing angles, same side attacking, left, right, left, or right, right, right. So there's so many different ways to throw it with fainting. So this is where you get creative. Use your style. If you're more advanced, you might want to stand, switch a little bit, play with your shifting, your angles. So be yourself, be creative, be a martial artist, and create your own picture.
Never forget the importance of enter and exiting for every combination. When you are done throwing your combination, don't be a standing target. Get your feet out, bounce out, move your head. The combination is not over until you're out of range. Keep bouncing, fainting, level changing. Remember, make this fight realistic. Think about, are the straight punches setting up the body, right? Straight punches are coming. You gotta think, how do I react to straight punches? I react by lifting my elbows up. Then I attack the body, okay? Then here comes my elbows. Now, you gotta hit the head. So, confuse me, okay? Get my hands up, hit the body, hit the body, get back up. So think about that when you're doing this drill. Play around with the levels. And remember, head, body, head. If you invest in the body, it opens up the head, and that's where you get those finishes. Head, body, head. Don't forget when you're doing your bag to remember visualizing counter shots. This is where you get a little bit more advanced and a bag work becomes a tool that helps you in sparring. If you're just hitting the bag with level changes, it's working the technique, which is great. But if you're wanting to improve your sparring, you have to start visualizing something that the bag is doing, okay? Think about it. Are you slipping right hands? Are you slipping jabs? Are you moving around? understand what you're doing. And if you have a fight booked and you're fighting someone who's got a good specific strike, visualize them throwing that strike, you slipping off and then countering it. Time. Okay, now like all of our other workouts, we end with our burnouts. And like the workout, it's going to be about level changing. We're gonna do a count of 10, as fast, as powerful, and on time with everybody. So even everyone at home, when you hear my count, I need you to be in time and in sync with Mike, Diego, and Matt, all right? So when I count one, boom, everybody goes together. Everyone has to be on time. You wanna take that thinking away. And I'm gonna change. It's not gonna be the same. One, two, right? It changes, so you have to use reaction time. And when I'm waiting, the key is in between counts. Don't just stand there and wait. You need to keep active, you need to keep moving, keep burning those calories, so in between, move, faint, right? Don't just wait for me. Like in a fight, you might be waiting for your opponent to throw something, so just move your feet, get, wait, anticipate, slip, move, and react is what makes this realistic, okay? First one, simple, jab to the head, cross to the body, hook to the head. Ready, full power, and one. Yeah, same timing, ready, move, bounce, sit, move your head, pendulum bounce, two, three. Okay, create an angle if you need it, four, five, six, move, seven, eight. Good, you can use your jab in between if you want, right? Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, second burnout combination. Jab, cross to the head, hook to the body, finish off, hook to the head. Head, body, head. Okay, so two hooks, first hook to the body, second one finishes to the head. Remember, move your head, use your jab in between, faint, pendulum bounce, wait for my count. One. Explosion, yes. Two. Three. Four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the last burnout combination, what we're gonna do is gonna be repetitive punches, right? Every time I count, one, boom, 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 boom. You're gonna do a two to three body rip, okay? Head, body, head. So if you're gonna pick three, body, body, head. Touch, one, body, body, head. Whatever hand you're on, try to flow it right away and give me three punches with level changes. Body, body, finish that last power hook to the head. Ready, repetitive punches. 10. Yes. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Good rotation. Four. Three. Two. And one. There you have it, another workout here on the online training. Right, make sure you, one, keep your studying, practice the tutorials, and just keep doing these workouts over. Don't just do it once and then think the workout is over. Practice again. If you're a beginner, get better, go as Diego, then go as Matt. Develop, improve, right? The first workout might be frustrating. Go back, do it again, it's okay. It stays online, keep practicing, keep learning. All right, hope you enjoyed today's workout. Stay healthy, drink, make sure you drink your lots of water, and get your mobility in daily. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Training Online.